Hey guys, Corey here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to batch export clips from Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, those of you who use Adobe know that there's no feature included inside of the software, but I'm gonna give you a simple workaround to do so. So here's an old demo reel, and I wanna keep some shots to include in my new demo reel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it down to a new sequence, and I'm gonna scrub through to the shots that I wanna keep. Now, let's just say I really like this shot here of the wide of the hitman pulling the gun up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the beginning of the shot and I'm gonna use the, the shortcut key, Command K for Apple, to add a trim point. You can also push C to get your uh, razor blade tool and cut there. Um, and then I'm gonna fast forward to the end of the shot right at the beginning of the new shot. So here's the end of the shot that I wanna keep. Here's the, the next shot that I don't really want. Same thing, I'll do it here though. I'll do Command K and as you can see, I cut this piece right here. So it's just one shot, one section. Now, let's just say I wanna you know, include some more shots. That's a good shot. How about this one right here of the, uh, the talent walking down this hallway? Same thing, Command K. Go to the end of the shot, and when it goes to the next shot, do Command K again, and now I have this clip. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create nested sequences for these shots, which is really easy. So I'm gonna right click the first shot, go to nest, and I'm gonna write shot one. I'll go to my second shot, same thing, right click, click nest, shot two. So I just created two nested sequences. So now if I go inside and I click my nested sequences, you can see it's just the shot. Now what I can do is highlight these two sequences here, do command M for uh, export settings, and click Q. This will send it to media encoder. Now once that opens up, you can see shot one and shot two are ready to go. Now what I can do is I can change my presets or whatever, whatever you wanna do, whatever export settings you want, and I'll just move it to a folder on my desktop. And I'll make a new folder called Clips, and I'll render those out. Okay, once it's done, you can see that the clips were exported, and here's my shot one, and here's my shot two. And that's it, it's a really simple technique to use to export multiple clips from Premiere. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.